guys, welcome to today. Today is Tuesday and Gabby is away with Kaylee on a vacation. It's super fun. Um, but Sophie and I are gonna live it up while she's not here. <laughs> we are, we're really gonna do that. Hey, Rubes. Hello. Hey, Cookie. Like, you guys don't know behind the scenes. You only see what I show in the camera, but behind the scenes, I'm always covered in puppies. Yes, you need a haircut. Yes, you do, and you are a troublemaker. People don't think Cookie's a troublemaker, and she's not, but she demands attention. Oh, goodness, you both are demanding attention right now. Holy cow. Anyway, welcome to today. We're just getting to go down and feed the ponies. I'm gonna tell you about all the troubles that we're having with them and how I'm going to try and fix them. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, you might not know, but get Sophie got her saddle and it is gorgeous. We can't oil it or do any fun things to it until the fitter comes back. Um, so yesterday I asked you guys, what the heck is this tool for? Show them the tool, Sophie. So this little bag came with a tool, and it looks like a tool. Doesn't it look like a tool? Yeah. But they told me, people told us what they are, and you know what it is? To get the stirrups on? Nope, not to get the stirrups on, but that would be a great tool. Because the stirrup leathers were so hard, it's to hang the bag. Um. So you hang it in the barn, you hang it in the stall, and then you have all your supplies there. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? It's a heavy bag. Yeah, it's a heavy bag. But we can't use the bag until after we decide if the saddle fits. But it looks fine to me. Yeah. Right? So I did message the saddle fitter and he's going to come soon. He wanted to come like in two more days. But I'm babysitting baby Jack that day. So, yeah, can't do it. Can't do that. He hasn't got back to me with a different day. But it'll be soon, I'm sure. Anyway, let's go. Let's go down and feed our ponies and figure out what we're going to do. Okay? I'm going to play with Willow. Yeah, we well, want to play with our ponies. I'm going to clean the field. Like I told you yesterday, it's spring outside. All right. <laughs> Did you guys hear? I you guys your eyes. So, we're going to feed you last because we always do. But listen, I have a new plan. What? The plan, Stan, is... Oh, okay, you give that to her. Yeah, all right. So the plan, I'll show you guys the plan. Not ah, back it up. You got lots of water there. How come you didn't drink much? I don't know if you guys can tell, but Gracie's the thinnest she's ever been. And she's not, she's not underweight. She's probably a good weight. Look at that butt though. Like, this is not our Gracie butt that we've always had. Like, it's totally a different butt. She just looks... It's funny, some people can't tell, but she looks drastically different to me. Like, she's she's not the same horse. And it's because, she, look at that. Can you guys tell? She's not getting to eat. And the thing is, is that, that Sky's not eating either. And it's because uh, she spends the whole time guarding the food. She's a guarder. She's a hoarder. She's a food hoarder. That's right. Yeah, just a sec. So, lately, I've been dreaming. I've been having this dream about Willow and in my dream she's always struggling and I'm like oh my gosh like I saw her the other day with no blanket on and she was all scrawny and and she was just walking aimlessly and I'm like god what is wrong like why why am I dreaming these things about Willow why is she struggling like what is it and I really think it's that God is trying to say like you need to step in now because these horses are going to start to struggle. Hey Will. I always look like this when I'm holding her. And we're going to make changes because I do not want my pony struggling. Kiss, <laughs> kiss. Kiss, kiss. She's so cute. So oh. yeah. So today, Sophie, you and I are going to feed the ponies. <laughs> Did you see her? Hear that noise, she's like, that she's like, you're gonna feed me, yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> We're gonna feed the ponies in in their stalls breakfast. Aw, I'm going to because it's been a long night without food, so they're going to stay in the ponies, and I'm letting Sky out, and she can do whatever the heck she wants out there, and then uh, we'll come down in a little while, and we will feed lunch out there, and we'll give the horses. Um, or we'll let them all eat together for lunch and then we'll bring them back in for supper and that's just what we're gonna do. You ready to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. You feel bad for Willow, why? Oh my goodness, some horses dunk their hay. That's Where do okay. You want me to put it? Just throw it down on the ground, she'll eat it. She doesn't even seem that hungry, really. 
Look at her. She's like, do you have treats for me? Let's yeah. just kiss and cuddle. <laughs> oh, she's the cutest pony. She like walks away it's from weird. me, but she walks to you, Sophie. It's weird. Willow loves kisses from you guys. So we're going to do all that stuff and I probably will video it. I don't know if I'll video it. I'll probably video it. But I have footage that I need to share with you guys. The day after the show, where the girls went to the barn and rode with Shayla, and Sophie rode Finn, and Gabby schooled Storm, and a lot of you guys are talking about it, want to see it, want to want to know what's happening. A lot of you guys think he's dying. He has cancer. He has what's the other one? Navicular. He's got everybody has diagnosed this boy a hundred times over. You guys forget when we first got Storm, and so and Gabby was at Sophie's level, and she was riding him, and he was exactly the same way that he was at the show, and um, every, I got the same kind of stuff. Like, everybody thinks that everybody thought we were hurting him, we were killing him. It was just a nightmare. But yeah, that's, a, that's our journey with Storm. So I'm gonna show you guys that footage, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Gabby is going to, so, so far, he literally, he literally doesn't seem sore any single spot. A lot of people are like, he has ulcers. We give him stuff for ulcers. There are no ulcers happening in my little herd, trust me. I'm up on that. I'm horse to see a chiropractor, always. We're also gonna do something new with our horses. Oh my goodness. Your bridal path be growing. Oh, he's so excited. Don't bite my hand. So I made a big change to this guy's diet recently. He's on a uh, feed that, just a small amount of feed that has molasses in it. Um, and he only gets a little bit, like, uh, uh, I don't like know, four room. cups a day or something. <laughs> he just walked away. He's like, I'll protect my, my brother from that horse, that attack horse. What? Oh, did you? Could you put the saddle forward? Yeah, I just wait. Let me just see what happens here. Mom. So Gabby's care. really careful when she gets up and see, not a problem. That's why. So we have to, Finn, I know it's not Finn your fault. Kid. Finn gave me a big kiss. Aww. So uh, poor Finn Aww. is the one riding in a different saddle today. Yep. So the last day of riding in a saddle that's not ours. It's just saddle troubles, horse owner troubles. You itchy? Not a single issue. So we changed the saddle and the rider. So that's big feels like you're riding a snail you kind of are but a good snail um, anyway so I did change the his grain I kept because I kept on saying some horses are sensitive to even a little bit of molasses and I finally was able to convince everybody I could change his grain sure he doesn't hopefully walk. okay listen Finn this is on you and me we have to actually work together and not walk ahead because okay now remember be really light because this pushes me so far forward. Well, it's in the right position. I know. Let's, your saddle is coming, Sophie. The saddle troubles are over. Tomorrow, by the end of the day, you will have a brand new custom saddle for that boy. He's a framing snake. I feel like he's doing better. Is he moving forward? Like, is he moving out? No, I'm trying to 
crying. Don't run over our feet, please. <laughs> Look out, here she comes. And we got Shayla on Emerald. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel because she has someone who makes her happy. I'm a ghost in these walls, or at least I try to be. Cause I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her. She won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close To try, try as hard as I can, cause she'll never be mine. I listen when she talks, I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before. And she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else, and I will have to let her go. I've ever seen in my life. But you don't have to can her if you don't want to. She's not gonna jump. And she's good with that. Don't pressure her, Gabby. She's learning to ride her horse again. <laughs> That's the canter she loves. I said stop. Good job. What did you think? Other than he didn't stop. Did he speed up at all or did he just not stop? But he didn't. But he didn't speed up? Good for you. I think you're getting your boy back, Sophie. <laughs> 